Hey guys, the Cessna Plane here. Today I'm going to show you how you can create text from any image in Pixelmator. This is something I made earlier, so let's go ahead and replicate it. File new, and yeah, let's just do 1280 by 720. New text layer, make it big, and TCPs. Now, delete this white layer. Oh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but whatever. Um, center that. And now all we've got to do is go into Google. Oops. Well, this is what I got earlier, but I'll show you how I got it. So let's just go to Google. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You just type in metallic texture. click on images and this was the one that I grabbed here uh, so as you saw I'm working in 1280 by 720 now if you're doing this I recommend to at least get a uh, an image that is of the same or greater resolution um, than what you're working in so as you can see I'm <laughs> that's that's more than enough so I click on this click and drag command tab to go back to Pixelmator drag that in now just for now we can hide that now make sure you've got the text layer selected go to edit load selection now we can actually hide the text layer bring back the uh, metal texture and edit invert selection and delete so now we've got that nice metallic looking text okay to get the um, the border um, around the text that um, that I did, just create a new layer. You don't have to create a new layer, but it's always best to work in layers so that way you've got full control. Um, make sure that you've still got the the um, selection. If if you deselect it all, then just just um, make sure you select that again and just go edits, load selection, and make sure you select that new layer edit uh, stroke and let's get black and I believe that's how it was so you can just play around make that as thick or as thin as you want okay and and that's it really so now if you want you can use this in in a movie uh, in like iMovie or Final Cut as a uh, as a title um, or you can just use it as a picture, export it to a PNG and do whatever you want with it. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments section and I will do my best to answer them. Till next time, take it easy.